So this is a, I went through my slides this morning looking for more slides, and this is quite a nice slide here of the nasal cavity, all right? And there you can clearly see what the nasal septum, all right? This has a nasal septum right here that is partly bone, partly bone and partly cartilaginous. So we know where we're near, near the anterior end of the nasal cavity. So this would be the nasal septum here, going into the area nearly of the vestibule. Okay? So this basically we're looking at the nasal septum. And we see over here the concha. Okay, let's go on a higher form. Alright. And here we see one of the concha right here. So that's a beautiful slide to go and get in the exam. Alright, so this is this is A1. Okay. So there we see the concha right here. Okay. Um, there's a bit of water under this slide. Okay, we'll go to the bit there. Alright, but so the concha, and we see the features, okay, we see the features that there is what? Pseudostratified, what? Columnar epithelium with uh, goblet cells, respiratory epithelium, okay, and we see that it is what? Highly vascularized, we see a lot of sinusoidal spaces, and in the nasal cavity and through the respiratory passages, we're going to see a lot of um, lymphocytes. Um, lymphatic aggregation because this is going to be in response for example maybe to some infection etc okay so there we see quite a nice slide here and when we go up into this region up here we note that there are what no what goblet cells okay looks as if we don't see any goblet cells in this region up here okay once again highly vascularized So this seems to be very much in the land of the olfactory type epithelium. And what we see is a lot of nerves. That's a nerve that we're looking at in cross section, longitudinal section. That's a nerve in LS, a lot of cartilage and bone. And there's a lot of glandular tissue. Alright, there's a lot of glandular tissue. These are maybe what they call Bowman's glands that are up there. And we see very, very clearly coming down here one of the concha. Okay? Alright. Okay, so this is a classic thing to get in the exam. Just a cross like this. Okay? So right here. And you can see this is, these have goblet cells here. And this is what? Cilia. See the cilia right here? That's just a little bit of the pointer right here. That's cilia right there, okay? So there's a whole band of cilia going around. Oh, see so the cilia is even better right here? Right here. And this is a layer of mucus that's just overlying it. <coughs> sort of mucus mixed into it. It's actually even more mucus and blood. Just a whole island of it. Just sort of coming down right across here. The whole of this. Maybe like mucus after the animals was killed. This is maybe just bleeding. Yeah, so there you can see beautiful respiratory epithelium, okay? The space is for the goblet cells right here. So it's a very good example of respiratory epithelium, okay? That's respiratory epithelium, okay? No. Uh, let me just take another slide of the nasal cavity, okay? Just another one here. So what we're looking at here, this is skin. So this is the outside here. So we don't know where we are, right up, right away, right away. That's a tooth, that's a developing tooth right here. That's the nasal septum right here. That's another tooth over here. Okay. That, so this would appear here to be the roof of the nasal cavity. Alright, maybe this for example could be the 
perpendicular plane for the ethmoid. The concha right here. Oh, the sinuses, the paranasal sinuses are also lined by respiratory epithelium. But the, the glandular tissue is very, very scanty. Where do you get those functional glasses? Microphone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>